Now, don't I look just beautiful? Hello everyone, it's Tash. Today I'm going to be doing a review and tutorial on the L'Oreal masks. We're going to be multi-masking, so just keep watching. I have all three of the new L'Oreal Skin Expert um, face masks. So I've got the, there's pure clay, uh, oh they're all pure clay, never mind. Sorry about the birds. I have the charcoal one, the red algae, and the eucalyptus. I think that's right. So the eucalyptus one uh, purifies and mattens. Then the charcoal one deoxifies and brightens. And then, oh my dear lord. And then the... Uh, algae one exfoliates and smooths so I'm gonna be obviously putting these in all different places because you know I want all different things in different areas and that way we can see how all of them work as well in the one video I'm gonna be putting the uh, eucalyptus one the green one oh god my sister has definitely used this because it is a mess okay so this is what it looks it looks really high-end it's really really nice heavy glass and it's just got the white you can't see from there but it just says l'oreal on the top i don't even know if this is gonna there we go it just has l'oreal like engraved and then it's got this beautiful like green outside and it just has the face mask and then it doesn't have anything on the bottom so when you open it it looks like this and i love how it has that little thing to help it seal because you want it to be fresh for as long as possible. Literally, how much does that girl use? Like, do you see? That could have been a bad move. All right, so I'm just gonna get some and I'm just gonna put the green one on my forehead. Now you wanna put these on in like a thin layer because otherwise they don't work as well as what I've learned because I've only used this a couple of times but from trial and error. I'm loving that I got green all over my eyebrows. Like seriously, top notch. Now, don't I look just beautiful? Now I'm getting the charcoal one. The only one I haven't actually used is the uh, algae one. Just because I just used the other ones and I just... I never felt the need, but it'll be good to see what it does. Doesn't that look a wash? I'm going to be just putting this on my nose and chin part because that is where a lot of my blackheads are. So that is where I want to target with this mask. I mean, like, how good do I look? I feel like I'm looking like the best chick in town, to be honest. I'm gonna just bring that a little bit further because I do have a few blackheads, stuff that I know are just that little bit further out. One thing I've noticed straight away is the charcoal one is quite like warm. I don't know if that's a burning thing and that's not good. So, but, like yeah it's quite warm whereas this one isn't it just went on and it stayed cool and i got a little bit much from my chin so i don't know how much of you you saw of that and where the camera stopped but i've just finished putting on the algae one and i was saying how the formula is a lot thicker and it's a lot more gritty i don't know if you guys can see that like in my hand it's a bit more creamy now and my hand my focus and i think i've just got a, like it's really quite like gritty I just probably can't even see that. But yeah, no, it's really gritty. Don't mind how gross my hands look. That's just from all the face masks. So it says 10 to 15 minutes. I'm probably going to leave it for 10 just because of how long it's taken me to put these ones on. So yeah, I'll come back in a little bit and I'll just show you. But I will give you an up close for the moment of see like what's happened with this one. Because it's like definitely gone into my pores and like trying to pull out those blackheads. I'm like, yes. So do you see how all those little dots, they're all my blackheads every single one how gross is that and then even in this one you can see it's like gone into my pores but like how satisfying is that but how gross is that and in this one you can see all the little bits as well but oh my god look how disgusting that is oh so gross okay i'll see you guys in a little bit so now it's all off i've you know 
sprayed my face with some mist and moisturizer and all that sort of thing because actually this time nothing really came out so I mean I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing so maybe it doesn't actually settle in to like blackheads but like like big pores or open pores and that's what I'm thinking because it pretty much didn't really pull anything out unless those ones weren't ready to come out which could have also been the case but I mean I guess for me that's a good thing saying from the first one I had heaps come out so that's disgusting and then the second one I didn't really have anything come out like at all so there wasn't really anything to show you this is the skin looks nice and clean and it's kind of fresh and rejuvenated obviously that doesn't look super matte now because I just put moisturizer on it but I feel like everything looks quite clean like it still looks kind of like I've got blackheads which I probably do they might not just be ready to come out. Which so I'm gonna talk about kind of each mask individually. So let's talk about the green one first because that was the one I put on. My skin did look quite matte purify. Obviously it hasn't done that because I still do have my spots and everything like that. As the moment, the green one, I think would probably the one that I least recommend to be honest. The charcoal one, I really like that one. I've used that one quite a few times. I like how it sinks into the pores so you can see where they are. I, I like that it has a slightly warming effect so I feel like it's probably opening up the pores to get in there but it only takes out the like the blackheads that are ready to come out so it's not like other ones where it's literally like pulling your skin it's quite gentle but it's really effective so this time I was really lucky and I didn't really have anything come out so either they're not ready or my skin's pretty clear from blackheads but I'm thinking they're probably not ready because I still do have quite a few blackheads Though my nose does feel really, really smooth, I thought I'd just let you know I am doing a quick voiceover for this part. The algae one, the red algae. I thought that was a really cool um, texture. It was a little bit thicker and obviously it had the little gritty bits to exfoliate. I really liked that. Uh, I really liked that when you put the warm water on, it was like an added exfoliation. So you were really getting in there and cleaning your skin. So I really liked those two the uh exfoliate and smooth red algae one and then the purify is it purify deoxify and brightening face mask um the charcoal one i'd recommend getting either one of those two over the green one i think that they just do more personally for me at least i have combination oily though it can also be combination dry in the winter as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell don't also forget to comment down below if you've used any of these masks and what you think about them and i'll see you guys in the next video